hey my gilded brethren you see this stitch text effect right here this epic stitch text effect right here I'm gonna be showing you how to do this in the uh, next couple minutes this is epic man this is I'm raising the bar people I'm raising the bar and it's a little longer than the other ones also but I'm st it, but hey let's get into this uh, tutorial you will need some extras this font it's called freshman I have the download link in the description it's free don't fret as well as this brush tip and it's free as well so don't worry the uh, download link will be in the description as well and uh, let's go ahead and get started man go to file new and we're gonna set the width at 1080 pixels and the height at 600 pixels hit OK and first thing I want you to do after you download the uh, brush tip I want you to come over here to the uh, brushes panel. I need we need to do some some uh, modifying to the to the brush head. I'm gonna tweak it a little bit. All right, I want you to select it. Oh, oh, oh man, let me get the brush. That was silly me, <laughs> Look like a rookie. All right, click on this little thing right here. All right, and we just it's just gonna be in just the main menu. We're gonna select the V first. And then we're gonna go down to spacing. Make sure the spacing is at 79%. Just mess with the spacing. That's how we're gonna modify the spacing. 79%. And after that, we're ready to go. All right. Go to layers. Right click on the background layer. Create a layer from the background. Unlock it. We're gonna right click on the background again. Go to blending options. And we're gonna go down to pattern overlay. Okay, all right, click this arrow right here. And I want you to click this arrow. And now I go down to Patterns too. We're going to load that, click OK. All right, we're ready. And I want you to click on Denim. Set it to Denim. Denim right next to the purple texture. Click OK. All right, grab the Text tool. Set the foreground to black. And I have mine set at Freshman. If I messed up, have mine set it freshman normal 120 point. All right, can anybody guess what I'm gonna type in? Anybody? Anybody? Any? Anybody? You got? You guessed it. Give it at five. All right. Try to center that. Not really. You don't have to center it, but try to center it a little bit. While that's still selected, go up to uh, layer, type, create a work path. We'll show you what we're gonna do with this next. Hit create a new layer. Go over to the to the brush. Make sure it's set to V. And the pixel set it at eight eight pixels. All right. Get out of there. Go to the pen pen tool. All right. Have it set on paths pen tool. Auto add delete checked if you want. And now what we're gonna do is right click on on the path, oh, oh, make sure the foreground is white. Make sure the foreground is white. Layer one selected. All right, right click on the path and go to stroke path. Press. Okay. Oh, look at look, is that the text effect? That's the text effect. That's the text effect. But we're far from done. Blending options. I'm gonna add a uh, bevel and emboss and a drop shadow. Alright, in the beveling and ball settings, smooth, depth 100%, size 5 pixels is cool, and the drop shadows default is, is okay. Look at that, we're bringing it to life. Alright, and now click on layer 0. Oop, uh, text layer. Set the blend mode to multiply. The opacity, take it down to 75 for me. Alright, now. Click on layer zero, duplicate it, and I want you to bring that right above the text layer. And I want you to hold Alt, hold Alt on this line that separates the text layer and layer zero copy, and click, click for me. Go ahead, click, boom, click. There we go. All right, now you see that? It's looking more and more realistic as we go. And now what? I, what now we're not up. We're not done yet. I need you to add an adjustment layer to layer zero copy. And we're going to go to hue and saturation. 
Alright. Now you can make whatever color you want. I'm just I, I like this color. You know, I was playing around with it. You know, I like this color. Look at that. Look at that. That's amazing. That is amazing. Alright. Right click on the text layer, blending options. I'm gonna add an inner glow. Alright, set the glow to black. The bl hit, man, hit OK, man. This mouse, man, it sticks sometimes. Alright, and now I'm gonna set the blend mode to linear burn. Take the size up a little bit. There we go. Alright, I'll keep it 16, but we're gonna turn the opacity down. You know, you don't want it looking too, too computerized. I want it to look like your grandmother did it, or your high school, one or the other. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that. That's amazing. Now, this is the effect. This is the polished effect. But we still have more. We need to do more. What we're going to do is add it. We're going to darken the edges. We're going to add a gradient, linear gradient, black to transparent. And we're just going to uh, gradialize the outside, the rim of it. Gradialize. Go ahead. That is not going to hurt. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. It's looking good. It's looking good. We're not done yet, though. We have a long way to go. All right. Then we're going to change this. We're going to change this blend mode. Go up here. Set the linear burn. I'm a big fan of the linear burn. I'm in love with it. We're gonna take opacity down to 20%. Look at that. Look at that. Just character out the wazoo. Man. Alright, next, click on the layer one. And we're gonna add another effect. Grab the pen tool. We're gonna make a little squiggly line. Make sure your foreground is set to white. For this effect. Squiggly line. Alright. If you don't know how to use pen tool, just just play with it. I had to play with it for about an hour before I, I made the squiggly line. So yeah. Alright. And after that, I'm going to go back to the brush. Go to the brush. And choose the X brush tip this time. And we're going to also set that to 8. Mm-hmm. Set it to 8. Grab the pen tool again. Make sure your foreground is white. Right click on the path. Stroke path. Hit OK. Look at that. That's amazing. That is amazing. In your face. Amazing. Alright, and now I'm going to show you another trick. This is another advanced trick that I learned. I learned. I learned it. Alright, okay. Now let's, let's see. Hey, hey, we're getting this ahead of ourselves. i got to show you something else real quick. I'm going to do that. I need you to duplicate layer 0. Duplicate that. There you go. There you go. Now we're going to close this path. Close the path off. Alright, and let's see. Try to make the look right. Alright, up. Oh, well, Alright, go to edit. Undo. Alright, the pen tool. As soon as you close the path, right click and hit make selection. Feather radius zero. Hit OK. Now select the, um, the pointer. And we're gonna, with layer zero copy two selected, with the pointer, I need you to hit control, control X, and that's gonna delete that. We just, you, you're about to see the magic happen. Click on layer zero, and I need you to create a, uh, an adjustment layer. Hue and saturation. Watch this. What? Oh, what? Are you serious? Did that just happen? Did that really just did? Man, look, look at that. That's beautiful. It looks. It reminds me of the old Pepsi cans. I haven't seen a Pepsi can recently. I just can remember the old ones from the from the fifties. <laughs> if Pepsi was out in the fifties, but hey, this is the effect. You know, it's a beautiful effect. You all, thanks for watching comment subscribe I would love to see what you did or what you could produce with this effect I just showed you if you'd like to create a video response it'd be it'd be appreciated
because I would love to see the impact I'm making on YouTube viewers. But hey, thanks a lot for watching and have a happy YouTube day.